Hello. Hello and welcome to this special international edition of Whose Lines Anyway, which tonight features from America the massive talent of Mike McShane, from Canada the amazing skills of Colin Mockery, from Denmark the missive talent of Sandy Toxvig, and from just around the corner the local boy made bad, Tony Slattery. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestant. Right. Now... Not, not, not too much, it'll get to their heads. We start with a game called Film and Theatre Styles. They break into two pairs of two for this. First of all, Sandy and Colin, you'd like to come down? I'm going to give you a situation to improvise in in just a second. But first of all, can I have some suggestions for some film and theatre style? <laughs> Kitchen sink dramas, good. Sorry, what was that? Children's TV. Children's TV, jolly good. Pantomime. Pantomime, yeah. Any, any, one more, I think. Rocky Horror. Rocky Horror farce. That's <laughs> uh, might be one. <laughs> Oh, we've got loads there. So the old situation is one of you can't get to sleep and the other one's trying to help you over that problem. So whichever way around you want to do that, that's your situation. Go. I can't sleep. Well, um, do you want me to bring the sheep back in again or was that not very successful? No, no, try it again. Uh, but make the... jump a little higher. Because they keep hitting right. me in the side of the head here. Yeah, no, I'm sorry about that. Flossie, if you want to come in again... Do... OK, let's do it as a kitchen sink drama. I think I should tell you something, Derek, before Flossie comes in. What's that, Deirdre? Flossie's pregnant. I thought I was protected. <laughs> damn, 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 and damn once again! I'm just guessing, but are you cross? Yes. Oh, it was just once! Just once! I know, but she had a hell of a smile on her face. <laughs> Can we move rapidly into children's TV? Shall I bring Flossie in? Oh, could you? We'll see what she's got to say. Can you see her? Can you see her smile? Uh, edge you on to, um, farce. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Look! Out the window! The vicar's coming and we've got a sheep in oh. the bedroom! <laughs> Ooh, put your trousers on! You hide in the sheep. I know we've done that before. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm not happy now. Thank you. Move back. Thank you. Um, right. Well, I'll give you... I'll give you uh, um, five points each year for touching just occasionally on the topic I gave you. And uh, bonus of 55 to the sheep for really taking over. Uh, so, Tony and Mike, uh, I'll give you your situation. Can we have a few more styles, please? Home video. Home video. Yes, Chinese comedy. opera. Chinese opera. <laughs> Oh, very po Sorry? Melodrama. And Open University. Prime Minister's Question Time. It's not really a real theatrical style, is it? I mean, uh, especially real people there. We're not actors. It's not like in America where Ronald Reagan played the part. Now, any, any more? Amateur Dramatics. Well, I think we have a million there to choose from. Uh, but anyway, your style, well, your situation is you're having a duel. Where you go. So, Countess de Baudricourt, you think you are better than me at shootsmanship? I, Philippe de Cochon. My eye can bead better upon a falcon flying than any man do. Well, you have a spade, and I'll have a Kalashnikov. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who. Oh, 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 oh. Open university. In the 15th century, these firearms were often used for putting a lead ball distinctly between the two eyes. That's right. And if we look at this pie chart here, we'll see that Mike is wearing a variety of terribly ugly 70s clothes. <laughs> Stop giggling, Tony. Uh, it's uh, Chinese opera. Ding, 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 ding. I got to use you. I know you use the rifle cannon. <laughs> oh, Lotus Master, once you teach me the secret of the lead dragon, I will be the most powerful man in Pekong. What's all this rubbish going on? <laughs> uh, let's try um, home video. All right, hold still. Okay, yeah, all right. okay. No, I'll, I'll pretend. I'll pretend. Right. Shoot, I'll pretend. Oh, you got fire. No, okay. <laughs> Do you okay, get no, that? Point at the camera. Do you get that? Point at the camera. Sorry, yeah. sorry I've, got, I've just been in a toilet. I've got trousers. Okay, go on. Keep... All right, there you go. Yeah, that's good enough of that. Uh, let's, um, let's finish on melodrama. So, you point the camera at me, the very camera you filmed. Oh, go ahead. Make long noises like a cow. Nothing will save you now. I know what will save me. I'm going to walk in a completely implausible fashion. <laughs> Yes, 
I say? I can't go through with it. I've had a change of heart. You're acting so bad, I decided to kill myself. No! Marry me instead! Uh, nine points each there for the improvisation, with a bonus of a million each for hopelessly overacting. Uh, jolly good. So let's uh, have a game now called Props. They divide into pairs of two for this. Uh, Mike and Sandy, uh, that's uh, your prop. You have to come up with as many different ways of using that as possible. Okay, and uh, Tony and Colin, yours is a two-part prop, which I think it is. And there it is, or there, there they are. And... Uh, just buzzing between the two uh, groups of two, um, as soon as I get your idea of it, away you go, starting with you, Mike and Sandy. Honey, when I'm cremated, you're going to have to put me in this size one, all right? <laughs> I killed the Dutch boy and stole his shoes. Good! Pamela, <coughs> Pamela, I am the Dutch boy's friend, where is he? <laughs> Well, it's big, all right. Some women consider me a classical lover. <laughs> Shirley Bassey, put your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. This was found in Egypt. It was called the Rosetta Porta Potty. <laughs> we can make great coffee from this. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm really hungry. Can you open the peanut butter for me? <laughs> what do you mean, Captain Kirk? I'm getting camper. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That's in there. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What? Let's give uh, 14 points each, anyway. Well, let's move on to a game called Helping Hands. Now, in this, I'd like you, Sandy, to act out a situation with Colin. So, you'd like to come down ready. But to make it easier for Colin, since he's a newcomer, he's not have to use his own hands, but Tony Slattery will provide the hands for him by putting them through the armpits like that. And the situation I'd like you to do, Sandy, is you're ordering a sandwich at a sandwich bar or something like that. And there's your sandwich tender. Hello, have you got anything that's uh, fresh at all? Fresh! Hmm. <laughs> fresh, fresh. Yes, I believe. Yes, 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 I do. This stuff right here, this uh, meat. It's meat. It's roast beef. Meat? Ah, meat. Are you sure? I mean, it. Very good. Very good. Yeah, but you've eaten it now. Oh, sorry. Um. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. Hmm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't want any of that. We'll have some, uh, uh, ham. Would you like some ham? No, well, you just flick snot all over it. I don't... Look, I'm sick and tired of your attitude. Well, I'm sorry. I'll just have a coffee, please. Can I just have a coffee? All right, that coffee. You have a coffee. All right, you have a coffee. coffee. <laughs> there you go. Like that. You've spilled it all down me now. Oh, really? Well, look at this. <laughs> Maybe you just like this. A cold. <laughs> Well, that's, that's terribly you kind You can use of... that to uh, make little designs on cheese. Yes, I know, but you've got coffee all down me and I still haven't got my sandwich. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, here, have a napkin. Oh, that's, that's terribly kind of you. Here, let me wipe you. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm a little nearsighted. Yes, I can, I can tell Look, it. I'm, I'm not... I have ears. Ha, 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 Okay, that'll do, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> well, there it is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, based on... Uh, Based on audience acclamation, I think I'll give 96 points to everyone on that uh, last game. Now we come to a game called Musical Producers. This is going to feature Colin and Sandy as the producers of a musical. If you'd like to get your stools ready to sit there, it has to be done on the stools. Uh, they're going to be describing the musical, and then it'll be acted out for us, or rather sung out for us, by uh, uh, Tony and Mike, with the assistance of Richard Ranch on the piano and any other musical instrument that's necessary. But this is a new musical, but we'd like a topic that it should be about. Making a song. Wasps. Wasps, a very good suggestion, a very easy word to rhyme, wasps, um, a million rhymes for that. Uh, so if you just describe the first scene and we'll, we'll get going, take it away, uh, Colin and Sandy. Okay, okay, uh, young lovers, okay. Wasps. Uh, young lover wasps, that's yes. right, that's yes. exactly what I was going to say. Wasps go are big in the marketplace today. Right, so uh, they're out together and they fancy each other and they do the traditional wasp song. Yes, wondering why they're not producing honey. Bzz, bzz, bzz. 
I like you, I like your stripes, I like your size and I like your sting. I want to marry you, here's your wedding dress, here's your gold and silver honey made ring. Oh, I'd like to take this ring, but there's one important thing. What's that? We've been going out a long time, I mean, you're a slave and I'm the queen. <laughs> the slave goes out and she sees this beautiful young girl. Yes. And he decides he's going to sting her. Okay. But if he stings her, he'll die. With a hacking cough. In a 1920s flapper number. What a day, what a day. What a day to pick some flowers. What a day, what a day. I could pick for hours and hours. Look at. <laughs> Look, a little wasp. He's got a stinger. He wonders what it would cost. I'm going to sting you right in your head. Ow. And when I've stinged you, we're going to bed. Let's do it now. Let's flap our wings and fly away. Okay. <laughs> that was a great song and a hell of a dance, wasn't it? No. Oh. <laughs> Years the slave, later. The slave wasp is dying. Yes. Having left his sting in the woman and the queen. Feeling really bad that she rejected him, comes back to pay her final respects. At his deathbed. It's so sad. It's very dramatic. You're dying. I'm dying. I just came to say goodbye. Goodbye. No flying. No flying. No more. Just say goodbye. But since you've offered to be my wife, I've got a new lease of life. Let's fly, let's fly, and sting our days away. You're alive again, we'll be better friends. Let's sting our way to fame. Okay, honey. Pretty <laughs> good. Let's end there. Uh, uh, okay, yes, pretty good. While I work out, while I work out the points of that, uh, we take a break. You see some advertisements. See you after that. Bye. Okay, welcome back. Uh, welcome back with uh, 94 points being shared equally amongst the four competitors of that last game. Now we come to a game called World's Worst. This features all four competitors again. If you'd like to come down to the World's Worst step. And you have to step forward when you've got examples of the world's worst person to be a superhero. Okay, I'll buzz when I've got the idea of your suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't worry, flatulence man will save you! <laughs> Oh, a phone booth. <laughs> You're safe! It's Ballet Man! <laughs> Squelch! Hello! I'm Incontinence Woman! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's me, Salmon Man. <laughs> Thank you, Back off! I, Captain Forgetful, will take care of it. Where's my costume? Where's my costume? Listen, I really want to save you, but the baby's due any minute. You will not burn down the fourth bridge, not faced with Mimotron! Hold <laughs> <laughs> uh, on, yes, very well. Uh, yes. Ah. Sorry, you caught, caught me by surprise there, but uh, a lot of points to everyone there. I'll work out to who I'm going to give them in a minute. Uh, now we come to a game called Song Styles, in which uh, Mike McShane is going to make up a song on the spot. And uh, what's he going to make up a song about? So could you think of something you'd take on a picnic? Banana. Banana. <laughs> well, banana seems uh, a possible one you could use. We need one thing. We need a whole picnic for him. But uh, banana's fair enough. Uh, not so easy to run. No, no, we've moved on from that. No. <laughs> But we'd like a style for him to sing in, which I don't think napkins uh, qualify the <laughs> light. <Yeah, Paul. laughs> Sorry? Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Oh, rock and roll. Come to, have you heard of rock and roll? Have you done those a million times? 
Why, yes, Clive, though well, I wear a suit and tie, I do have a funky <laughs> underpinning. <laughs> well, get your funky underpinning out. Uh, Mike, out of where you go. I like food. I love a picnic. I can swing with almost anything. Got his cheese. Easy to please, but one fruit really makes me sing. It's yellow and long and not too strong. This is a banana, a banana song. They say monkeys, well, they love them. They just can't get enough of them. Well, I'm a primate, number one. Me and that little yellow fruit gonna have a lot of fun. I open the hamper, I peel it down. I munch a banana all over town. Ha! Like that? That's right. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much, yes. All right. Uh, another, another 72 points there from Mike McShane. Uh, let's move on to a game called uh, News Report. This is going to feature Sandy and Tony in television studio. Sandy is the, the anchor woman, and Tony is an expert. Out in the field, we'll have Colin as a reporter, if you'd like to go over there, and he'll be interviewing, uh, well, anybody, and, that, that, and those anybodies will be played by Mike McShane. Well, so this is a whole news program, but it's going to be about uh, a nursery rhyme. So can somebody suggest something like Little Bo Peep or Humpty Dumpty? Hey, something? Hey, 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 the Grand Old Duke of York. I'm fairly confident that's a nursery rhyme, so away you go. <laughs> and away you go when the news music comes in. To we know more than you do, where we patronise you with peak time. And this evening, a very exciting story. It's a royal story, and with us, an expert in the studio. Now, the Grand Old Duke of York been with rather a lot of men, hasn't he? He's been with rather a lot of men. I think this is the most important point to clarify. The latest reports coming through from Reuters is that he has, in fact, had 10,000 men. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to stop you there. We've got one of those 10,000 men. He is exhausted, but he is going to speak to us in the field. 10,000 men. You are one of them. When yeah. you were up, you were up, and now you're down. How do you feel? Ma'am. He's a grand old duke and party till you puke. I'll tell you, that guy could go for hours. I mean, I was number 359, and I thought he'd be steaming, but he was still ready to jazz, baby. Okay, back in the studio here, a bit of a comment from the Peerage de Brett uh, expert. I think one of the things to bear in mind is that there were points in which he was only halfway up. <laughs> okay, okay, lovely. Yeah, we've actually got the farmer who owns that hill, been tramping up and down 10,000 men with the Grand Old Duke of York. How's he feeling? All right, your entire crops have been trampled by 10,000 men. What? How do you feel? Well, I'm planning on taking the crushed wheat and selling it to the Shreddies Corporation. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I'll say one final word. Well, it's just come through on Reuters again that he is, in fact, going to be rechristened the Grand Old Duke of Pork. Yes, you heard it first. We'll be back with more news as it happens. Okay. Right, thank you very much. Put your stools back there. Very, very good indeed. Uh, no points, unfortunately. Uh, now we come to a game called Alphabet. Uh, this is for Tony and Mike, so if you'd like to come down ready. They're going to act out a scene. I'm just going to set them a little scene. The only difficulty that we're going to give them is they've got to start each line with successive letters of the alphabet. But we don't have to start with A, because we haven't got a suggestion. L. L. That wasn't just a yelp of pain. Oh, oh well, not this game. L sounds good, so we've got to get back and do L again at the end for the big finale. And the situation you've got to do is just two surgeons performing an operation and chatting about it. Lucky sod, you get off this week, huh? Michael, this is sudden. What, what causes jealousy? Mm, nepotism. Ooh! <laughs> Perhaps your wife doesn't happen to be the best nurse on the hall. Quite, she isn't. <laughs> really, I thought you had more tact and morals than that. Silly person. Can't you see that you've just taken out his windpipe? <laughs> oh, tracheotomy time. <laughs> that goes under the neck. Uh, uh, under the neck, that goes. <laughs> Very good. Whoa, we've done it. Oh, the Zabalagable Ridge seems to be opening up. <laughs> Yes, that's right. <laughs> Zip that baby up and I'll break for bus for lunch, okay? Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> Careless butterfingers. <laughs> Dr. Cock-up. <laughs> Every time. 
forget it. I'm hungry. Good, me too. Hell, let's go to that new salad bar. I'd rather have a steak. <laughs> well, jam it up, jam it up, my kabaga. I'll have a steak too. Kabaga? What's that? <laughs> A linear tract of the... Forget it. That's it. That was so, so good. Very well done. Um, um, particularly a good round of alphabet there. Uh, half a point each. Now we come to a game called March, in which all four competitors are going to make up a song, a march, on the spot. So if you'd like to come down ready to, to do that. And what I'd like you to do, uh, studio audience, is suggest uh, some type of profession uh, that they can make this up. Banker. Banker. Banker, I think, has a possibility of a rhyme or two. Uh, There'll be, there'll be penalty points for anything too obvious on this, though, Tony. Uh, so, can you start, please, Tony, keeping off the obvious rhymes, and away you go. <laughs> oh, fiscal things are sweet to me, in many ways they're honey. Yes, my life centers around lots and lots of money. Oh, money, 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 I don't need wit. To be a banker, you need to be a duplicitous git. We had a cashier in our bank, but she couldn't do any counting. Which is really difficult, but she was very good at mounting. So instead of making her into a bank teller, we put her by a lamppost and set up trying to sell her. <laughs> I love the feel of money, it's so crisp in banks. I like the smell of dollars, of pounds, of francs. <laughs> Instrumental! <laughs> I'm dating a woman. The woman is a banker. She's damn good to me, and I'd really like to thank her. She lets me make deposits every day and every night, and early withdrawals a penalty, but for me, it's all right. I've got lots to put in the vault. Just because I'm loaded, it's really not my fault. But I don't think I could find enemy the worst or the best, because she always charges me with the interest. Well, 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 yes. <laughs> well. Uh, well, we, uh, the sadness is that that's the very last game, and totting up the score, I see that Tony Slattery is this week's winner, so well, well done, well done. <laughs> um, a reasonably, a reasonably popular choice there, and the prize of winning is to do the credits in the style of my choosing, and can you do it, Tony, in the style of the world's most enthusiastic person? We'll read the credits in that style. Uh, so it just remains for me to thank Mike McShane, Colin Mockery, Sandy Togsvig, Sa uh, Tony Slattery, no, Sally, Slattery. Sally Slattery, yes, uh, Richard Fry, me, Clive Ellison, saying good night. Good night. <laughs> oh, 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 line is it anyway? Devised and compiled by Dan Patterson. What a great producer he is. Oh, Mike McShane, he's, he's big Sandy Togsvig. She's Richard Fry. Oh, what brilliant music. Oh, he's great. Stephen Bender, like, what a fab name. Ah, it's brilliant. Did you make some money against video Nicole, I can't pronounce that name, but I bet she's got in bed. Oh, production by a training was costume designer Joan Thompson. She's a crazy girl. I love her so much. This program's so brilliant. Research and Ryburn, production assistant Nikki Cockcroft. I'll be seeing her later. Oh, designer Graham Story, director Chris Bold. Oh, he's so brilliant. This whole brilliant. I'm so happy I'm going to shoot myself.